Welcome to Shifting Gears with Kat. Hello everyone, and today we're going to be asking three quick questions for Kat. Question number one. Can you tell us a little bit about the cars that your father owned? Yes, yes I can. My father drove a Mercedes 600 SEL for most of my life. Um, he traded them in for new ones. Christina drove a diesel Benz wagon when I was small. He loved Mercedes. Um, when he no longer needed a family car, he began to drive sportier cars. He had a Jaguar. I have to look up what model it was. But what I do remember about this Jaguar is it often lost parts as it drove down Copperthwaite Road. <laughs> it spent quite a bit more time in the shop than it did actually being driven by my dad. Um, so that didn't last very long. He eventually started to drive NSXs. The first one was red, and then after that he got yellow ones. There were two different yellow ones, I believe. Um, I was also asked if he ever drove any domestic cars. When he worked at Chevrolet, I was told by, my, um, by Christina that he had a collection of Corvettes and somebody whose job it was just to wash them. And um, on the farm, we always had a Chevrolet truck, a Chevrolet work truck, a Silverado, um, or a GMC. And we, I drove a GMC Yukon. He had a GMC Yukon for some time. That was also a farm vehicle. Um, Zachary drove a 325i. <clears throat> and there were some interesting cars that we actually had on our property when I was growing up. One of them was a 1970 convertible Mercedes-Benz that had a 1978 thrown into it. So, and he gave this to me when I was about 14 as my car. So I basically had a John DeLorean GTO Mercedes. What was really cool about this was when I was 16 years old, he decided to put a bump and system in the trunk. So I had a classic Mercedes convertible uh, GTO version with a crazy stereo in the trunk of my car. Um, how he acquired this was through a transaction involving trading farm equipment um, with royalty. So that's pretty interesting as well. We also had, it's a dog. In the 90s, when I was in high school, we had a, a Mercedes G-Wagon with a soft top. And when we got the car, it had CB radio speakers. So it, I was told that it was a converted army vehicle. Um, this was a pretty cool thing to actually drive around. Nobody else had one at the time. They were very rare to see. It de didn't really look like the G-Wagons that you see today. It kind of did, but it was a little bit more jeepy. A little bit more rugged and off-road. Um, the interior we had was cloth and I used to love driving this thing around. One time I was driving it around the backyard and we had paved roads and they took you all around the property and one of the places you could go was to our brick barns. There was this large um, structure that had different tenant places to live and then it also had a huge barn. And I used to like to drive around the property and practice driving. And um, I ended up hitting the wall of the gate that was the entrance to the brick barn. And I hurt the fender on the car, on the G-Wagon. And I went in and I told some story. I, I don't know why, but I just remember telling some story to my dad about swerving to miss a rock that jumped out in front of me. And, um, yeah, I actually said the rock jumped out in front of me and I, what am I going to do? Um, I do remember that it was about $6,000 worth of damage, which wasn't a whole lot of damage. It was just impossible to get parts for the car and he had to actually get them from out of the country. <laughs> so that didn't go over too well. Um, yeah, I, I think that's all the cars we had. I'm, I may have forgotten one well, or two. Well, I'm sure we'll have time to talk about cars in the future. Question number two. Did your father ever tell you what his favorite car was? Oh. Huh. My father didn't have a favorite car. He 
had favorite engineering. Um, I don't remember my father ever particularly doting on a car or being impressed with a car other than the NSX. And again, that comes down to engineering. It was a naturally aspirated six cylinder engine that could keep up with most V8s and driven properly, blow a couple of Vipers off the road. I know that's not going to be a popular statement, but he really, the reason why he drove NSXs uh, was because he really did appreciate the engineering of that car and how it drove. They dr it was that car was amazing. I learned how to drive stick on the NSX, by the way. Um, so so I can't I I can't say that he ever told me that's not true. His his, his convertible uh, baby blue sixty four GTO would probably be his favorite car. How about your favorite car? My Babs. My um, 1998 WS6 Trans Am. Well, favorite. that's the three questions I've got, so why don't you wrap us up? Okay, well, this was Shifting Gears with Cat. See you next time. Thanks. Thanks, everyone.